Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now June 5th of 2023, and we are just around the corner from the marketing for the Ahsoka Tano series to really reach its peak by Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni. I've really got to give them a lot of credit, by the way. They really keep the fans very much kept up to date essentially and they really keep us posted they keep us in the loop about what's going on with ahsoka and everything related to the future of star wars and more about their dreams and their goals and everything related to their ambitions with this roadmap this is mike zero subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future star wars updates i'm also on twitter at mike zero one i thank you also very much for the great and kind support and let's get right into exactly what What's been going on here with Kathleen Kennedy, Indy 5, the Acolytes, Skeleton Crew, etc., and everything surrounding her view of the fandom at the latest? Now, we know that Kennedy has been heavily trying to promote Indiana Jones 5, the Dial of Destiny. I like to call it the Dial of Disaster so far because we already know that there's been a lot of problems coming out of this movie, not just with the critics that have seen it so far, can, and coming out of it saying that the magic is gone, the thrill is non-existent, and even Kennedy admitted just the other day that there are four different endings that they had to choose from, many of which that the crew on set did not agree with, and that just goes to show you that this movie is going to be very... Much a dismantled mess, in my opinion, compared to what we got with Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I really do believe it's not even going to match up to that level of bad. I think it's going to be worse. So, moving to the next thing here. We know that everything related to Kathleen Kennedy has been all about damage control so far. Really trying to save this movie, trying to keep its image intact. Right now, Kathleen Kennedy has been promoting Indy 5 and her other Star Wars projects like Acolyte and Skeleton Crew for the time being, while they do last minute editing for this movie. However, just recently, Kennedy had this to state to the entire fandom of both Star Wars and Indiana Jones. She states, it's very clear to us that the so-called fans are raising their opinions about our fifth Indy 5 movie criticizing so consistently and relentlessly are not fans and that these people should be disgraced and disgusted with themselves. These are people that aren't fans, but just those that like to create non-existent issues for a film like this one that we have worked so very hard on. It's very clear to us that these fans are not just going to accept that we do have a diversity problem in this world, and especially the lack of empowering female roles in this industry that we are trying to make a gold standard, and we think we did an excellent job for that with indie. People can criticize all they want, but this film serves as a great example that we are willing to take the risks to normalize what should have been normalized decades ago for films like this, and the same follows with our project Skeleton Crew and The Acolyte that really pertain to normalizing all of this. Now let me stop here quick, alright? So, <laughs> what she's literally admitting here, obviously you guys caught that, is basically she's focusing on these agendas over story. She's not focusing on character development, She's not focusing on the pacing of this movie or the shows such as Skeleton and Acolyte. And she's not focusing on a well-crafted plot. And that's why this movie is going to fall very flat. We already know that there's a lot of very bad dialogue in this movie provided by Phoebe Waller-Bridge's Helena. And in case you guys have been out of the loop, Helena is the goddaughter of Indiana Jones. She's going to be the quote-unquote star of the movie. Basically, she's going to be kind of like the Rey of the Star Wars universe and the sequels to Luke. That's basically what Kathleen Kennedy's approach is with Indiana Jones' The Dial of Destiny, essentially. Now, when you look at stuff like this, though... This is a very concerning piece, the fact that she is literally saying the fans that are raising their opinions and raising their concern about this film are not fans, and that they are simple people that are afraid of what she just listed. Empowering female roles, uh, promoting diversity, all these different things, equality, etc., etc., things that, by the way, have been around for a very long time, it's nothing new, but what they are trying to push is by dragging in like this alternate weird version of that, 
that just makes absolutely no sense. And that's what they always try to do in the Hollywood sphere. And there is some level of pushback, guys. I mean, there really is. I mean, we see it's slowly changing for the better. Slowly, very slowly. It's getting there. So moving to the next thing, all right? Now she states, these groups, all right, these groups of people can criticize everything that they want to and try everything. It's clear to us now that we have to never listen to fans in any area to tell the story we want to tell. Both diversity, equality, and pri prioritizing female roles is our future in this industry since we have dealt with the lack of for far too long, and we have been so inspired to make it perfect with this movie, Skeleton Crew, and The Acolyte. We are doing last minute edits right now with Indy, and we think it's really going to resonate with common moviegoers. She said that again, common moviegoers. She doesn't say fans. You guys realize that? It's going to be absolutely great, she says. Harrison didn't really agree with our approach at first, I will be honest, but we did what we had to do to fit into that role again that would adapt to our times. So again, what she's saying is that this movie is not about pretty much doing something fun for the fans. It's all about catering to the common moviegoers. And that's, by the way, guys, the thing that really keeps me on edge because we know that Disney is relying on the success or failure of Indy 5 on whether or not they are gonna fire Kathleen Kennedy. The biggest problem here is two things, all right? Number one is, what does Disney really view as bad box office results to the point where they would fire Kathleen Kennedy? What are they going to view as bad? Because we always, know, we always know that Disney tends to always favor a specific level as not concerning. Number two is this, is that when they look at Indiana Jones 5, the Dial of Destiny, all right, are they going to look at the common moviegoers response or are they going to look at the fan reception like the hardcore fans that do not or will of course enjoy the movie mostly a lot of fans of the indiana jones franchise are going to come to dislike this film from the sounds of it it's not really looking good so far and it's never really going to be something that's going to kind of reach up to the fans you know uh overall outlook of this film so that's the thing about this is that we know a lot of things about indiana jones 5 it's going to release on june 30th post june 30th all right so the first two weeks of july you're most likely going to see a little bit of a spike in the box office results a little spike and then a very big decline that's most likely what is going to happen because usually with the Indiana Jones franchise, especially with this one, you're gonna get fans that are gonna go ahead and see this. From what it sounds like, fans are still gonna go ahead and see this. And then you're gonna see a big dip. So it's gonna be interesting to see what the box office flow is gonna be like. Is it gonna be an up and down cycle or is it gonna be a big up and then a sharp down? Because that has happened with many, you know, movie franchises out there before in the past. Even during this year, by the way, you get a big spike and then a big fall. And that's, I believe, what happened with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So look, like I say, I mean, this is interesting stuff, guys. I would love to hear each and every one of your opinions below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time. Gun in hand, we are alone again. No one from night to moon, we hear them moans again.